Okay. Hello, everybody. Back on my sixth week. Week number six today since my Nissan Funduplication Hiatal Hernia Repair. A um, lot better. Um, a lot better. I'm eating pretty much, well, almost everything, not quite. Um, I'm off the soft diet. I do eat oatmeal, cornmeal, cream of wheat, all those soft foods still. Protein drinks I do make with protein and some fruit and some ginger and different things inside of it, uh, which go down real well. Um, but making more improvement every day. Uh, yesterday I had some cheese with crackers and I had about three of them. Um, I didn't eat them that fast, but I didn't eat them that slow either. About 30 minutes later, tremendous pain right down in the gut. So I'm just pushing it a little bit. So as you go through this process of healing, you have to take it slow. You're still not ready to dive in and just eat fast and eat large portions of food, solid food. Uh, depends on you, it depends on your body, of course, but for me, that was a mistake. So uh, there are certain foods like cheese, crackers. Um, crackers are usually not recommended by the doctor in the, uh, the nutritionist when you go for your, uh, your post-op post or your discharge. They tell you right on the, on the papers that you can't eat crackers for a while. Uh, and they don't really agree with me either. Something about them, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. Most crackers. Other soft crackers are okay for me. But the heart, the, the, uh, these were actually uh, those, what do they call them? Hi-ho? Nabisco? Crackers with cheese? They didn't work for me. I did have one about three weeks ago that when I took one with cheese that went down good because I ate it slow and I didn't eat much of it. Just one cracker with some, a slice of cheese. Yesterday I took three slices of cheese with two crackers in between each slice and uh, that was really painful for about, about an hour and then of course it just passes. So you got to watch it. But all in all, I am doing much better. Um, it's great to be six weeks out from the surgery. Those first few days or even first weeks were, were, were not fun, but you do progress. So uh, that's, I can report good news. Um, I haven't eaten any Hamburg uh, except chopped up in little pieces. I haven't eaten any chicken except in soup, which does go down good. Um, I still lost uh, my weight is down to, uh, well, I lost about 18 pounds, 18, 22 pounds. So I'm not back to where I should be uh, with my weight, but it's coming up a little. It's very slow. Uh, what else can I report? Sleeping is good as usual it always is um, pretty much seems to be uh, uh, the doctor gave me full permission to work uh, after my after my uh, video conference with her two days ago so that's good um, just doing a lot better. That's all I can really, how I can really put it, because it's just time. You know, time just, time heals all wounds, as they say, and it's been, it's been good. So, um, uh, what else can I report to you? Sixth week, actually it's exactly six weeks today, as I said before. 
There is very, very little pain associated with uh, eating. Um, sometimes I'll eat uh, you know, different things like shakes. Shakes usually don't cause much pain at all. Very little, maybe a number one, which will you know, make my back feel a little uncomfortable. So I think it's still, it, there's still healing and, you know, healing going on in there in the stomach esophagus area. So it's probably just still a little bit swollen and irritated. So uh, this is the six week. So I think what I will do is make another video in uh, uh, two months. So that would be uh, two weeks from now and report back, tell you how I'm doing, so you can know what you may expect to. And remember your situation is different, everybody's different. Um, I seem to be a mainstream with everybody else that has had this done, where you just wait until time passes, let, let your body heal and just do what the doctor says pretty much and they'll they usually write on on what they recommend you to do uh, I've been able to really I worked yesterday was my first day back and I'm a plumber so I was able to lift no problem with help <clears throat> so that's good so I would say you know be encouraged, be patient, give it some time, don't, don't push it too much. Even with me when I tried to push it with the crackers and the cheese, that was a mistake. And it happened the other day too, probably a week ago, I ate something that was, I ate it too fast, uh, too much at one time and the, the, the tremendous pain, you know, thank God it only lasted for an hour. And then I was able to get back. I think when I drink a little water during the pain, that helps too. And when I walk, after when I walk during this pain episode, seems to help a little cut down on the amount of time that you have the, have the pain associated with the eating. So little tidbits for you. Maybe they can help you uh, get through your surgery too so I hope this helps um, like I said I will report back in two weeks which will be two months and then maybe after that uh, report back in six months or three months see you can see how I'm progressing and just it's all for you guys that's you know that's why I make these and just like other people have made them for me, made these videos for me to see what I'm up against in the progression, weeks, months after the surgery. So um, I would say I am 90% back to where I was before the surgery or maybe more. I'm excited to be where I am, um, really, because when it started and through the weeks, days and weeks, you, you, you start to think, um, this is not going good. It seems like something's not right, but everything is right. You have to heal. It takes time. So take heart, be patient. Do what you're supposed to do and I hope you make out well when you have your surgery and you have your your recovery it works out well for you it will most of the time it does I've heard probably I think I've only heard one person maybe two out of several several people say that they 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 just it didn't work out for them or they had to go back a second time to get the hernia um, repaired again. So it's rare though. All right, 
you all take care and be safe and we'll talk again in a couple of weeks.